Well, good morning, guys. You ever feel like you have to like whisper because there's like nobody else at the boat ramp. The lake is like glass and there's massive three pound rookies like right behind me. I got the uh, Monster Bass Icebox for November and it's like two days before Thanksgiving and there's no ice anywhere to be found in the state of New Hampshire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try as many of these lures as we can to catch these monster brookies. Stay tuned. I'm pumped. First things first is we're gonna try this little Lindy spoon. I think this would be perfect. It does glow in the dark, but we don't need it to glow right now because it's broad daylight. We're gonna try that. Like I said, I'm being like super quiet so I don't spook these fish. They're right at the boat launch because it's nice and sandy and that's where the uh, that's where the bait is a lot of the time. So try this out. And uh, one of the other keys to success that I've always found with fishing is being able to see what's down there. Seeing structure, seeing the fish if you can. I'm going to recommend some sunglasses for you guys. These are Rios polarized sunglasses. They actually float. I'm going to throw them in now, but I would, except for they would get in all, you know, water all over them. I don't need that right now. Rios, I'll leave the link for them below. Um, it's really dark outside right now. It's November and it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's completely overcast and I can crystally, I can see right into the water with these on. It's the way to go. This is more of a, a jigging spoon. Like I said, I'm sight fishing for these fish. Polarized glasses is key. There's some absolute beast in front of me, guys. Let's put something a lot smaller on. Like one of these Widowmaker tungsten ice jigs here. Now, like the, like I said in my uh, unboxing video, these are basically a little caddis fly. There it goes, like, like a little tiny like trout magnet kind of thing. Let's go back over there. Plop it right in front of these guys' faces. Let's see if they'll bite this little tiny jig. Oh, they bit it, all right. They bit it, all right. All right, so the little plastic doesn't work. We're putting a little, little trout egg on there. Got him. Got him, big fish. Big fish, guys. Big brookie. Massive. Big brookie on that little Widowmaker tungsten jig. This is when they get off here, guys. Ooh. That is a massive brook trout, guys. And when I talk about massive brookie, that's what I mean by massive brookie. Really fat 16 incher. Just a beautiful, beautiful brook trout, guys. What a beauty. What a beauty, he's fat and 16 inches. Let's get him going back here. Oh, that's awesome, that's what I'm talking about. Widowmaker lure right there from Monster Bass. Let's go get another one. There's definitely some bigger females in there. That was actually a female. Got another one. Got another one, guys. That is just absolutely amazing. This Widowmaker is just, you know, you get nervous about these little tiny, little tiny hooks. Widowmaker is just destroying this thing. Oh my goodness, this trout is pulling the freaking boat. That's a bigger one, even bigger than the last one. All right, this one's even bigger than the last one. Let me show you guys this one. This one is pretty sick. They're like impossible to hold. On the same little Widowmaker. Look at the size of that freaking fish, guys. Look at the size of that fish. Another stout, like 17-incher. Like, 
can't complain with that right there. Back he goes. I'm, I'm getting pumped up, guys. This is sick. That means that big female in there has got to be pushing like 20 inches or so. Ooh. I had him and he popped off. Where's the big mama? I bet you I can give it on top of these fish and they don't even care. They don't even care, guys. Got another one. That would be the colors of a male right there. No, you annoying perch. One of the first fish I picked up there was a female and this is what they were spitting out. This is basically brook trout eggs. I'm not allowed to use those, but I am allowed to use salmon eggs. So these are going back in, but look at the color match. Like, you know, brand new and a little bit seasoned. It's not much color difference. That's why they're absolutely hammering it. They have uh, an instinct to just pick up eggs because it's calories, right? Really looking for a, a PB, which would be 20 inches. Well, I think that may be my PB. I'm not 100% sure. But they just cruise these shorelines and they're looking for food or they're spawning. And what they're looking for is something very similar to the size I have. It's basically a case caddis. And I'll put up a picture of it, like right here for you guys. Um, it's very cool. It's a little bug that covers itself in sticks and then hatches into a uh, fly at some point. But it is what I use for fly fishing a bunch. See if that big female's back. If not, we'll go cruise the shoreline here. Let's try the, the Luda Lure, which is very, very shiny. And we have a rock wall in front of us, which I've caught rookies on before. So it's not a very heavy spoon. It's got that little feather on it. That's pretty sweet. Let's not twitch it, let's just cast it and let it sink. This Luda Lure has some pretty cool action. If I can slow roll it, I'm not feeling any vibration, but if I jerk it, it has some crazy action, but I gotta keep that line tight, otherwise it'll foul itself. But it is shiny, shiny, shiny. I'm guaranteeing this will catch lake trap. Does not sink very fast though. Oh, monster rookies right here, guys. Chasing the hell out of this lure. So they're right, right behind me. Those are all really big fish. Those are all the, the three-year class. Three to four, I don't know if they stock fours. Oh, they're right in front of me. Just barely see him. Try snapping it off the bottom. Not sure which way they're headed, but I think they're headed that way. Polarized glasses, guys. That is where it's at. There's one, right? There's a couple of them right in front of me here. Get my other rod. Oh, I got him. I got him. Guys, I got him. He's an absolute monster. Absolute monster. Jeez. Absolute monster. I'm gonna get that out of the way. He ate it. He ate it, he ate it, he ate it. She ate it actually. Yes. Oh, I'm the little tiny Widowmaker, guys. <laughs> Widowmaker Lure Gold, guys. That was it, again, with a little tiny egg on it. Absolutely destroyed this absolute brute of a fish. Absolute brute. Oh my goodness. Absolute brute. Look at that fish, guys. There we go. That was friggin' awesome. Let's see if we can go do, do that again. Sight fishing for monster brook trout, guys. Can't go wrong with that. That fish, I didn't even feel him pick it up. I just saw him nose down on it and it was all over. 
It was all over. Lost him, guys. Lost him. I get out of my sight here. If this is bluebird skies, I mean, it'd be <laughs> slaughterhouse. Got him. He made the mistake. <laughs> Jeez, these guys fight hard. So I have a male on right now. That's absolutely gorgeous for a male. So that's uh, the male coloring right there. All bright fins and everything. And the Widowmaker lure right in its mouth right there. Look at that. Just dangling. Just dangling. Back in he goes. Got another one. Pinned him right in the top of the mouth. Jeez, these guys fight. And they're absolutely beautiful. Beautiful fish. All right, this is the last one. And we'll go. There's the uh, Widowmaker right in, Widowmaker Caddis right in that freaking beautiful male's mouth right there. Beautiful fish. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to get your monster bass box for the ice fishing season is November, December, January, and February. So there's a few more days left on November, but if you order now, you can get it for the end of November for that very first ice. If you have an ice right now, I'm, I'm like super jealous. We don't have ice anywhere. Water's still like 47 degrees, which is crazy warm and easy to get down to like, you know, below 32 to freeze. Uh, I'll leave a link for Monster Bass's stuff below. You can use my, my link below and that helps me out and it helps Monster Bass out and helps you guys out catch these monster brookies um, in the uh, northern states here, you know, right before ice happens. So thanks again for watching.